And moving forward, uh, Sally, in the book, you refer to Anna Fells and her mm. book, Necessary Dreams. Yes. You say that feeling fulfilled at work requires two things according to her, recognition and mastery. And when women don't uh, get enough of the former, which is recognition, they dig deeper into mastery. And that can come in the way of assuming a wider span of responsibility. Could you expand on those nuance here again? Oh, yes. That's such a brilliant insight from Anna Fells in that great book, Necessary Dreams, which has extraordinary research. And that's what she talks about, that, that, that a real contribution at work is always a combination. You need to be recognized, but you need to also feel that you are mastering skills. And what I, the framework I put this in has to do with what I just said about every, a great career being built on three legs, visibility, connections, and expertise. Recognition depends on visibility. So if you don't have the capacity to make, to create visibility for what you're contributing, it's going to be very difficult for people to recognize what you do. So what women will often do as a default is they'll overvalue expertise or mastery. They'll say, okay, you know, I, I, um, it's part of that habit number two, which is the most popular one in the book, I have to say, expecting others to spontaneously notice and value your contributions. You're reluctant to hmm. bring attention to them. So you hope other people notice. They often don't notice because they're busy with something else. Then you start to feel bad because you put in so much effort and haven't been recognized. So you try to solve that problem by working harder and harder and harder, which kind of digs you, <laughs> digs you in further because what you really need to be addressing is a visibility factor, not the expertise factor in other language. What you need to be addressing is the recognition, your ability to get recognized for what you do, and, as opposed to just constantly pursuing mastery. 